I'm vlogging. It's boring. I'm clean. That's you, Mommy. Good morning, everybody. It's time to check on the chickens. Ah, chicky, chicky, chickies. Oh, am I? <laughs> we got a lot to do today. Ooh, the lighting. Sorry about that. It should be a fun, filled day. Weekends are always crazy. Ah, oh, you got chicken poo on me. I'm gonna change positions. This lighting is not it. I am so tired today. My kids have never been good sleepers, but Wesley became a good sleeper. Like he would sleep through the night. He would fall. He loved to go to sleep. He'd grab his blankie and be like, night night, and be so excited to pass out. And all of a sudden, the last few weeks, Wesley's decided, eh, I want to join. I'm not going to sleep all night club. So lately has been a little bit rough because Maisie won't sleep through the night most nights. And then the nights that she will sleep through the night, Wesley's like, I'll take over girl, I got you. And then he's awake all night. So I'm really tired. But my chickens are exploring the yard and there are trees in my backyard that are starting to look like fall which is really exciting for me I know that's not exciting to anyone else on the planet because everyone else experiences seasons but like we don't get a lot of extreme weather changes in Southern California so I've never lived in a place where all the trees turn orange and red and like pretty colors it just doesn't exist for me so the fact that there's a tree in my backyard that's turning orange is really exciting I'll show it to you but first let's check and see if we got any eggs oh my gosh Whoa. Holy smokes, y'all been laying. I'm gonna have to go get a basket. Oh my gosh, well my shirt's covering chicken poo. I might as well just put it all on my shirt, right? Like, I have to change my shirt anyway. Okay, I've got a shirt full of pomegranates and eggs. I guess we have a pomegranate tree. You guys, look at this tree. Like for the first time in my life, I have like a fall tree. Look like fall leaves that like fell onto the ground. It's so beautiful. I'm just excited to have a fall tree. Oh my gosh, that spider web's huge. Okay, we did lunchtime, nap time. It was some chalk. I have therapy in five minutes. Before I do that, I want to see if I can figure out a way to make a book for kids, like of themselves, if that makes sense. So I'm trying to work that out. I know that it's easy to get picture books like made at like, you know, Walgreens, CVS type of places, but I'm impatient and those take a while to get. So I was like, I'll just try to like make one myself and see if I can figure it out. What am I doing? I do not have time to do this right now. I need to have therapy. Okay, I'll see you guys after. Okay, kids are asleep. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I usually don't eat dinner until after they go to sleep. I'm like too stressed. Like the process of dinner, bath, pajamas, brushing teeth, and story time, and cuddles, and bedtime. Like it's a lot in a short amount of time. I just feel too like like eat anything. I have to wait until they're all settled and asleep. I know everything's done before I can eat. And tonight, I'm just gonna get peanut butter and jelly. Sometimes you just crave a good old classic peanut butter and jelly. It's been so weird to vlog knowing that people are going to see it. <laughs> I've mentioned a couple times I've vlogged in the last few months because my therapist told me to because it was just such a huge part of who I am. By the way, are you a creamy or crunchy peanut butter girly or boy -y? I honestly feel like it depends on circumstances, but like in a peanut butter and jelly these days i'm all about the crunchy i will say there have been phases of my life where i definitely wanted creamy for sure for sure I do appreciate a good crunch anyway what i was saying was that it feels so weird to vlog again and know people are gonna watch it but i remember when they recommended that i try to start vlogging again just for me just to like ease out of talking to the camera every day the majority of the footage is like just really dark <laughs> but i'm so grateful that i did it i genuinely love vlogging and sharing my life and just talking on camera all day i feel like i'm always talking to myself anyway because that's just the type of person I am where I literally am just always talking to myself which is just so embarrassing but it was also like really therapeutic for me to be able to do that it almost felt like I've been like cut in half or something and like half of me was missing and I was like how am I supposed to walk with one leg I don't know how to survive and then when I started vlogging again even though no one would see it it was like I was kind of put back together a little bit I don't know I'm probably not making any sense but I'll try to find one of the first vlogs I did when I was like vlogging for myself <laughs> Have to jump in here it's future me editing past me can we just talk about how i'm ripping the crust off of my peanut butter and jelly like i am a three-year-old like grow up <laughs> i don't even know how i never realized that i do that or that i did that like i was watching going like wait am i ripping the crust off my sandwich what am i doing anyway let's continue with the vlog i'll try to find one of the first vlogs i did when i was like vlogging for myself many months ago see if there's anything i can share on here I'm hanging out with my chickens. We have some very exciting news. My chickens have started laying eggs. Oh my gosh, applesauce. I've never seen her do this. She's like laying in the dirt so weird. I think she's just sunbathing, but it looks so weird. She's like literally sunbathing. I don't want her to get up. I'm scared if I come over here, she's gonna get up and run away, but. What in the heck? 
Dang it. Okay, so the apricot tree is thriving. Like, I feel like in one more day, they're all gonna be ripe the same day, and I'm gonna have to make like a bunch of jam or something just so that it doesn't all go bad. Oh my god, it's perfect. <gasps> it's important to find the little things in life to put a smile on your face, and I never thought having a fruit tree and plucking a fruit off the tree and taking a bite of it would bring me joy. <laughs> what it does. I know, I should have washed it first, but I guess I'm a rebel. Oh, Flynn, I wanted to make these really yummy treats. They're called Hello Dollies. Grandma Nita always makes them. Does that sound good? Of course it does. Of course it does. Maybe we'll do that oh, soon. What? Every time I say, of course, you always copy me when I say something like that. I know, it's because you're so cool. I just want to be like you. <laughs> I know, but you just kind of got me. <laughs> and now it goes in the oven for 25 minutes. I gotta say that vlogging my life today has made me want to like do things like bake, which I haven't done in a long time. Today feels like I'm starting to feel a little bit more like me again. I just baked this dumb treat and like it's making me want to cry. <laughs> okay, I let it cool a little bit. Oh, come on. Heaven. Heaven. Babies are asleep. I am making a chicken casserole. How are the chickens, love? There's like nine rats in there. In the chicken? What's with the rats today? Hey, cutie patootie. There's a rat's nest in car again. There's a rat's nest? What are you talking about? Daddy said this. Oh, drat. There's another rat nest in car again. <laughs> I've never heard daddy say drat. He said, oh, drat, there's a rat? Yeah. What? Did you try a Hello Dolly? Yeah. Is it, it good? It reminded me of my grandma. His mom made one for me, and I was like, what is this? Anyway, this is going in the oven for like 15, 20 minutes, and then we're gonna eat it. Well, I don't know what you just watched, but I hope it was good. I had to find out when I was editing, so. I'm like an ice cold Coke at 11 p.m. Okay, let's go do a craft. Okay, so I wanted to try to make an ornament. I saw these little like log sliver things that you can turn into an ornament, whatever. And I was like, oh, I wonder how people do those ink transfers. I found out that you have to have like a laser jet printer in order for those ink transfers to work. And I don't have a laser jet printer. So this doesn't really work, but I've been trying to make it work. <gasps> there is a fly in here that is so freaking loud. It's driving crazy. <laughs> I don't know why, it, it literally sounds like a bee. It's like banging against the walls. I'm hearing it smack against the walls and stuff. Like, girl, go to bed, it's midnight. She's literally like hitting herself in the mirror in the windows, like, girl. Okay, I'm gonna open the door and see if that helps. Oh my gosh, it's so cold. So I have this ornament I made of me and Eric. Give them a little smoochy smoochies. It's like hit or miss. Sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. An ornament of little Flynn like giggling in a field. So I have this picture of me and the babies. I love that I still call them babies, even though they're definitely two years old. They're not babies. All three of my kids will always be my babies. Like, I can't imagine ever not calling them babies. But anyway, I'm gonna try to transfer this onto this. So let's see if it will work. I'm using Mod Podge Photo Transfer Medium. And I just squirt it right on. I can still hear that freaking fly. Okay, so now I just take the picture and I plop it right on there. Press it on there as hard as I can. I use the back of the paintbrush and I kind of like scrape it on. Just make sure it's really transferring that ink. I just peel off the paper. No, it didn't work. Darn it. I peel off the paper and hope for the best, but the best is not looking good right now. Tutorials I've seen online are like, wait three minutes, but when I wait three minutes, it literally does not work. It's like the sooner I do it, the better it works typically for me, but this time it is not. Look, see how it's like kind of working, kind of not? I think my eyeballs are missing, but <laughs> kind of worked. And the hope is that like, if there's any leftover paper on there, you can like rub it off. Okay, so that's what it's looking like. And then I'm going to put Mod Podge on top of this matte. I don't like the way the glossy ends up looking. I made Maisie a book tonight. She loved it. And I basically just printed out pictures of her like at the park, at the beach, in her Halloween costume. And you know, the pages are like, I'm a pumpkin. I am walking. I am swinging. I'm at the beach. So like that very simple, like nothingness. But she loved it. Maisie does this thing. She like will talk to Wesley like she's his teacher. Like she'll show him something and be like, well, what's this? And like, it'll be like a letter or a sticker or like a toy. And then he'll say like, it's a color. He'll be like red. And she'll be like, red. Mm -hmm. What's this? So freaking funny. And she was doing it tonight with the book, but I 
think yesterday I said I was gonna tell you more of an update on the kids in today's vlog, and then I definitely didn't do that. I think I also said I would show the Halloween footage, and I definitely didn't do that either. I mean, I could put it in now. I'd rather do this. Okay, I'm gonna show you a clip of Maisie doing that, because it's my favorite. I love when she does this. It's so freaking funny. Maybe I'll end with that today. But I also kinda wanna show you this before I go. It has to dry though. Well, somebody decided he did not want to sleep tonight. So we've just been having cuddles for the last like hour and he just doesn't want to go back to sleep. I was like, well then you're coming down with me, buddy. Let's see what time it is, Wesley. 1.15 in the morning. Here's the ornament. It totally didn't work. All the paper's still like kind of on it. I'm gonna leave you guys tonight with a video of Maisie teaching Wesley. <laughs> What's so funny? Yellow. You see yellow? What do you want? Do you want that? The beads? This one? Yes, this is the end. He saw my oh, friendship bracelet beads and wants them. The pink fishy. You see a pink fishy? Yeah, there is a pink fishy on the screen. Purple fishy. And there's a purple fishy, yeah. Did you want a bead? The colors. You see all the colors? The colors. You like the colors? Yeah. Do you know the muffin? Wesley sometimes decides he doesn't want to respond to his own name, but there's one word he will always respond to. Hey, Wesley. Hey, Wesley. Wesley. Monster truck. Yep. <laughs> Should we go nine-nine? Yeah. A yellow fishy. A yellow fishy. Yeah. Yeah. Um, here's a video of Maisie teaching Wesley things. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Cookie. Yeah. This. Well, yeah, yeah. This, this doll, doll. Yeah, this book. Pick up. Yeah. Green, green. Oh, that's that. Look. That. That. Yeah. That was that. Your ball. Ball, yeah. What that? Stop. Yeah, green. Daisy, look, it's a little kitty. What's the kitty say? <laughs>